Thank God for preserving your life and that of your entire household. My name is Reverend Clifford Gaddafi Kassim of the Initiators of Change Ministries. I want to personally welcome you to Manna from Heaven. What I want you to do is please do well to get your notepad, get your pen, get your Bible and stay tuned as we journey into the mind of God. I'll be back right after the message. Stay tuned. First Chronicles chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. I want you to move there quickly. First Chronicles chapter 4 verses 9 to 10. The Bible says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou will bless me indeed and enlarge my coast and that thy hand might be with me, and that thou will keep me from evil, that it may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. The scripture we just finished reading was talking about a man known as Jabez. And according to First Chronicles chapter 4, verses 9 to 10, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers but his life reflected pains in reality his life reflected sorrow in reality the question here is what steered the life of Jabez into that evil path this is the answer the name Jabez bed now listen to me very carefully. Jabez's name in Hebrew means pains or sorrow. And this name was given unto Jabez by his own mother. All because his mother gave birth to Jabez in pains. Parents, I want to advise you. Never give a name unto your child out of experiences. Otherwise, you may place the destiny of your child under bondage. You may place the destiny of your child under calamity or under evil. This was what happened unto Jabez. Because the mother of Jabez gave birth to Jabez in pains, in sorrow, she decided to name her baby Pain Sorrow. And the meaning of the name Jabez took over the personality of Jabez, drove his personality onto an evil path. We nearly destroyed his destiny until Jabez cried out unto the God of Israel for liberation. And the Bible said God came down and then liberated Jabez. Now listen to me very, very carefully. The name you bear is important. And the reason why I said the name you bear is important is this. Names goes beyond a tag of identification. I'm picking it up again for you. Names goes beyond a tag of identification. The name you bear can tie your destiny onto bondage. The name you bear can drive your destiny onto series of calamities. The name you bear can drive blessing away from your destiny onto others. The name you bear can also catapult your destiny into the dimension of God. It can become a gateway through which God can discharge his will as well as purpose for your life. The name you bear. This is why you must always know the meaning or meanings of names you want to bear. Or names you want to give unto your children don't just put on a name because it sounds nice your interest in putting on a name should be the meaning of the name you want to put on 
once the meaning is good you are good to put it on can i shock you this is what i want to tell you the name you bear can tie the hands of god from fulfilling a prophetic word in your life the name you bear can stop jesus from inviting you into his plan and then purpose for your life the name you bear and if the name you bear is an error name it will be difficult for the angels of god to administer blessing onto your personality it will be very 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 difficult and i'm going to give you some few uh bible quotations with examples of people that had an error name that stopped the flow of god's power from working on their behalf we are looking at a man known as abram according to genesis chapter 17 verses 5 the bible said god appeared unto abram and then god said unto abram from today your name shall not be abram your name from today shall become abraham for i have made thee father of nations don't forget that god appeared unto abram previously and god said unto abram in blessing i'll bless you i'll make you great i'll make you father of nations god left him went to heaven later on god saw an arrow that was stopping the prophetic word concerning his life from manifesting so god came unto abram and said unto abram from today i am changing your name from abram to abraham i'm doing this in order for the prophetic word i've given unto you to have its free course to manifest into your life then god said unto him again i am changing the name of your wife also unto sarah this gives us a clue that the name you bear can stop a prophecy from coming to pass in your life the name you bear can stop the manifestation of the power of god in your life the name you bear can close the heavens over your destiny as you are hearing the sound of my voice i will advise you to look out for the meaning or meanings of the name you are bearing some of you your problem in getting connected onto the blessings of god is not prayer when it comes to prayer you pray is not service when it comes to service you serve rightly but the reason why the blessings of god are not finding their way into your life is all because of the name or names you bear and we just saw what i've just projected across onto you in the life of abram who became abraham hallelujah genesis 32 verses 28 also talks about how jacob wrestled with the angel of the lord and it was time for the angel of the lord to go to heaven and the bible says jacob held onto the leg of this angel by the spirit of faith listen by the spirit of faith we can hold angels into our dimension of existence and by the spirit of faith we can cause them to work the works of god into our lives therefore today by the spirit of faith i draw miraculous blessings into your life I draw testimonies into your life. I draw breakthroughs into your life. I declare by the spirit of faith that the heavens above you be opened wide. The rain be released into your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jacob held on to the leg of this angel, said unto the angel, I will never let you go until you bless me. And according to the word of the Lord, the angel then looked at him and said, All right, your name is Jacob. But before I can bless you, I have to change your name from Jacob, which means 419, a trickster. I must change your name from Jacob into Israel. And according to the word of the Lord, the angel changed his name from Jacob into Israel. It was only at this point that the angel called bless jacob and this blessing made jacob very powerful prosperous great in his generation 
I pray for you today that God begin to bless you with blessing that will expand you into the dimension of glory. Blessings that will cause you to flourish like the palm tree. Blessings that will cause you to expand like the cedar of Lebanon. The Lord pour his oil of influence, his oil of power, his oil of favor upon your destiny. I declare and decree that receive the oil of gladness. From today, the oil of gladness shall speak for your destiny. It shall cause you to be lifted above your peers in this dimension of existence. So before the angel of the Lord could bless Jacob, the angel of the Lord had to change his name from Jacob to Israel. Hallelujah. Look at it again. Before Peter was given access into the earthly ministry of Jesus, Jesus had to change his name from Simon to Cephas. And what I'm projecting across to you can be found in John chapter 1 verses 42. So Peter could only get into the earthly ministry of Jesus when his name was changed. This gives us a clue that the name you bear can block the manifestation of God's blessing into your life. It can tie the angels of God from blessing your personality. There are people out there whose names mean madness, whose names mean scatter, whose names mean money can never stay in my hands, whose names mean marine spirits. As a result of that, their lives are driven into that path. And this was what happened unto Jabez. He was an honorable man, honorable more than his brethren, but his life never reflected the Bible description for his life, all because of the name his mother gave unto him, which had the meaning pain or sorrow. So his entire life was just in the dimension of pain, was just in the dimension of sorrow hallelujah am i blessing you if i'm blessing you say thank you lord jesus thank your precious holy spirit of god so the name jabez bed drove his life onto an evil path a path that clothed his destiny with sorrow and evil please look out for the meaning of the names you bear if the meaning is wrong please change the name may god grant you grace to be able to walk in the spirit of the revelation I am projecting unto you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to our Lord and Master and Savior, Jesus Christ. I believe strongly you've been blessed by the Spirit-inspired sermon. It is my prayer that God will keep you under His power. God will cause the energies of the Spirit to take over your entire being. And God will lighten your destiny with the spirit of favor. I want to personally invite you to worship with us. So in case you want to join us to worship God, to experience God, to have encounters that dwells in the dimension of God, then you can visit us these days. 